Marlon Kalu. Hi, um, I'm Mar my name is Marlon Kalu, and I work for Con Edison. Mm. I mean, I'm a customer. I the uh, development I live in, we get gas from Con Ed. I, I pay a Con Edison electric bill every every month. We definitely don't get any discounts from Con Ed. All we get is the uh, the information that Con Ed gives to everyone else about how to cut back. In my experience, not many people know about Vampire Voltage. It's one of those things, uh, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. I mean, if you don't actually see the power being used up, you don't really think of it. Vampire Voltage, in its most basic sense, is when an appliance uses electricity when you're not using the appliance. When you're using the appliance, you know it's using electricity, you know it's using power. Um, when you're not using it, and it, the appliance is still pulling electricity, that's vampire voltage. These Fampton loads basically occur from devices such as DVD players, stereos, um, televisions, and anything with a, a digital clock readout. When I moved into my new apartment, I basically tried to put all my appliances on a power strip if I could help it. This way, if I'm not around or I'm not using it, I can turn all the appliances that are connected to that power strip off at one time. Another appliance that uses power when it's not on it are battery chargers. You may think when you disconnect your phone, it's not pulling any power, but these, these battery chargers have little trans, mini transformers in them that take the 120 volts and makes it a smaller usable voltage to charge your phone. And that's, a, that's an easy way I could save a little more electricity by just unplugging the battery charger. It's better for all of us to just uh, you know do what we can to, to try and keep this place as uh, wonderful as it is right now.